Yay! Oh, me too. What did you pack? I packed some leftover noodles, mm. my bottle of water, some cereal snacks, a banana, a granola, and a ginger snack. What about you? I have uh, cashews, I have chocolate for us to share, I have apple slices, an orange, um, my sandwich, and some tea. That sandwich was good. Yeah, let's eat. Oh, oh my, look at the time, we have to go. Dang it, I, I guess time goes by really fast when you're having a good time. It does. Wiggly Worm here. I just wanted to tell you a little something about compost. That's right. Compost is my most favorite thing. So nutritious, delicious, it makes me want to sing. Making plant food instead of filling landfills to get peace of mind and lower utility bills. Save those kitchen scraps, they don't go in your trash. Make your own bin if you're short on the cash. Microorganisms break it down in the nutrients. Reuse it again. Composting makes sense. Composting! What? It's a way to recycle. Uh, yeah. Composting. What? Another way to recycle. What? What? Composting. What? It's a way to recycle. Uh, yeah. Composting. What? Another way to recycle. What? What? You take some fallen leaves that you rake up from the ground. Pine needles, sawdust, all these newspapers I found. Put them in a bin, you can make it in your backyard. Mix on in, kitchen scrap, see it ain't hard. You gotta mix it up, and you gotta wet it down. But it works by itself, and it don't make a sound. And when it's all done, you feed it to your plants. Make them grow big and strong, make the petals all dance. Composting! It's a way to recycle. Composting! Another way to recycle. Composting! It's a way to recycle. Composting! Another way to recycle. Mr. Millipede coming at you. A compost can with a hatcher. Don't need no cashier. Compost the treasure. You can buy or make your own. Don't need no bank loan. Order at my phone. Make the flowers grow. The composting bin is a friend. To the bugs within, you see them grin. Carbon and nitrogen abound. As the nutrients are washed from the compost to the ground. Composting. It's a way to recycle. Uh, yeah. Composting. Another way to recycle. What? What? Composting. It's a way to recycle. Uh, yeah. Composting. Another way to recycle. What? What? I'm Sister Salberg and I'm here to say composting is the environmental way. We use banana peels, coffee grounds, and apple core. Feed it to your plants so they can grow a little more. Don't use any meat, any eggs, or cheeses. In case stray animals get a whiff and a breeze. Mix it with some newspapers, dry leaves, a carbon source. Microorganisms, eat the main core. Composting. It's the way to recycle. Composting. Another way to recycle. Composting. It's the way to recycle. Composting. Another way to recycle. 
You take some fallen leaves that you rake up from the ground Pine needle sawdust, all these newspapers I found You put them in a bin, you can make it in your backyard Mix on in, kitchen scraps, see it ain't hard You gotta mix it up, and you gotta wet it down But it works by itself, and it don't make a sound And when it's all done, you feed it to your plants Make them grow big and strong, make the petals all dance Composting! Composting. It's a way to recycle. Composting. Another way to recycle. What? Composting. It's a way to recycle. Uh, yeah. Composting. Another way to recycle. What? What? Composting. It's a way to recycle. Uh, yeah. Composting. Wow, we learned a lot from that recycle, reuse, and composting video. I think we better go back to lunch and retry. Let's do some of the do the rot thing activities. What is biodegradable? Uh, well, my banana peel is biodegradable. My orange peel is biodegradable. My napkins. Oh yeah, and my apples are. Hmm. Number two is dirt for lunch. Let's find items that come from the dirt. Uh, well, my cereal came from wheat, and that comes from dirt. My orange peel came from a tree, that comes from dirt. So does my banana peel, came from a banana tree, that comes from dirt. And my apples came from an apple tree, which comes from the dirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. And for our last activity, we'll do this environmental lunch log page. So we'll talk about what in our lunch was reusable, what we could recycle, what can compost, and what needs to just go to the landfill. So, like our banana peel would go in the compost. Um, our apples can also go in the compost. The water bottle can be reused again. We can refill it with water. Yes, we can. Uh, oh, same thing with my fork. I can just wash it and reuse it. That's right. Our tea bottle can go into the recycling because it had tea in it, so it's not really as good. Uh, my granola bar wrapper goes in the garbage, so in the landfill. While we separate these items, let's watch this video about composting. Look out! Here comes another load! Oh, hello. I'm George. George the Foreman. Welcome to our compost bin. This is very lucky indeed, because you've arrived just in time for another delivery. <laughs> and now I can show you just how compost is made, with the help of some of my family and friends. Right then, let's start by taking a look at some of the everyday stuff that we can turn into compost. Everyday stuff that you're kind enough to bring to our bin. Great! There's a good mix of greens and browns in here. Like any recipe, good compost needs a mix of the right ingredients. The apple cores, vegetable peelings and tea bags, for instance, are called greens. They're quick to rot down and add moisture to the bin. Things like egg boxes, cardboard and fallen leaves are called browns, and these provide fiber and make useful air pockets in the mixture. As you can see, before this lot even had time to settle, Ferdy the fruit fly and all his mates are all over the place helping to start the process by breaking down the greens. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> Morning, Brian. See, over there, they're brandling worms, eating their way through the rotting debris. Unlike normal earthworms, which like soil, Brian and his friends prefer this lovely, rich environment and can eat up to half their own body weight in a day. Their tunnelling also provides little airways for oxygen to get through so that we can all breathe down here. Oh, look, there's Pippa Ann and her colony tucking in as well. <laughs> Tuck in, young Pip. <laughs> Hopefully there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Phew. Things are certainly starting to warm up around here. Now, at this level, in the first few days, tiny microbes such as Beryl and Bertie bacteria here, who are so small that you can fit a billion of them on a teaspoon, also help break down the waste, making it easier for my friends to eat and slowly turn it into compost. Let's go down to the next level and see how our compost is developing. Hello, young Woody. Good lad, keep up the good work. It's a pleasure, George. It's head clippings today, my favourite. It's even warmer down here. At over 40 degrees centigrade, it's the warmest place in the compost bin, thanks to some more microbes like Beryl and Bursey, called actinomycetes, which help break down the tough and woody bits. I say, George, at this speed, we can't slow down. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's Steve Snail and his best friend Sally Slug rushing off uh, to make a start on the new delivery of plant material that's just come down from the top floor. They might not be fast, but they do a very thorough job of helping to get rid of the tough woody stuff that hasn't broken down yet. And here comes Sylvia Springtail, cleaning up after everyone. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, dearie. Can't let this go to waste. It'll make a nice dessert for later. Shh! Don't let them centipedes know we're here, or else we'll end up as their lunch. Here is where Fiona Fungi gets to work breaking down the toughest stuff. This process could take months. Ah, that's Elvis Earthworm. Earthworms prefer to live in and tunnel through soil and are great at working the finished compost into the soil when you humans spread it onto your flower beds and vegetable patches. <laughs> Looks like Elvis here is checking out the quality of this compost and making sure it's got all the right nutrients. Looks like someone wants some now. I better get back to work. See you next time you compost. <laughs> Bye for now. glass jar, organic yard debris such as fallen leaves, grass clippings, and dirt, old newspapers, fruits, fruit and vegetable peels, cores and scraps, one cup of rainwater, and a permanent marker. Let's get started with soil. Then newspaper,
then scraps. Then add a layer of dead leaves and grass clippings. Repeat these deposits until the jar is mostly full. Finally, add your rainwater. And put the lid on it. Poke holes in the lid for oxygen. Lastly, set your composting experiment on a sunday, sunny window, window sill. Every two weeks, mark a line to show the new top as nature does her thing and the contents settle. In about 12 weeks, your organic matter will turn into rich soil. You may even see worms. Have fun. I hope you had fun learning about composting and recycling. We would love to hear from you. Post a picture or leave us a comment on Instagram at mtlibrary121 or on Facebook at Milton Public Library. You can use the hashtag Melton P L D E S R P. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to look out for this program's book recommendations. What's wrong, Miss Cat? This was our at last outdoor library program. Oh, don't worry about it. We have virtual story time coming in September. Oh, really? Yes. Wow.